We have a fourth nor'easter passing through Arlington and all of Massachusetts, the fourth one in a mere three weeks. For some insight into that and what this pattern may be all about, we have an Arlington native who is a meteorologist down at Spectrum News 13 in Orlando, Florida. Maureen McCann, thank you for joining us, Maureen. Thank you for having me back again. I wish it was for better circumstances and not another snowstorm for you. <laughs> I know the last time we were talking about hurricanes that were mostly affecting Florida, but we thought we'd call you up again for this special occasion. Is it special for nor'easters in not even three weeks? Well, you know, it's winter. It snows in the winter. We get snowstorms in the winter. Is it out of the ordinary? Not really. The reason this pattern has been so different or so persistent, it's because of a very stagnant pattern that extends beyond New England and beyond the uh, continental United States, such as this big ridge of high pressure over Greenland, that is what is keeping this storm track, showing this progressive pattern, sending these across the northeastern corridor. Tell us, what is a nor'easter? What does that really mean? It, it is a definition of a storm system with the prevailing winds coming in out of the northeast because at low pressure you get counterclockwise flow. So when these storms move up the east coast, they pull in that Atlantic moisture. So winds tend to come from the east or northeast. And they're also moving in that general direction, moving to the northeast, to the northeastern part of the country. But these storm systems tend to be at once that produce a lot of heavy snow, especially inland away from the coast when you get near the coast sometimes the snow totals aren't as significant. The biggest thing that comes out of these nor'easters, I don't know if you had a chance to, to see, but I'm sure you've heard about it, is, is the wind and these and the trees or tree limbs, you know, coming down or hang, left hanging. Um, it was after the second one um, that really hit us with, with, with the wind. My parents were out of power for probably the longest time. They have lived on Lennon Road 40 years this year they have been there. Because of the wind at this time of the year, sometimes we start to see the budding on the tree limbs and that can help weigh it down. And when you get these snow events that have a higher moisture content or a higher a water capacity that tends to provide more weight on the tree limbs. The tree department is aware of this in, in town and we have a new a new vision for replanting trees and an inventory was just done of our trees. But as you know, the trees have been here, you know, longer than when you were last here or when you grew up here even. Things are happening. You know, we don't want to scare people, but you know, branches and limbs can come down and they and they can they can harm. Right, and that's why we encourage people as broadcast meteorologists, you know, we're always trying to promote safety and staying off the roads, being in your safe place, and making sure, we talked about this during hurricane season and kind of alluding to the fact that you can use those tips for winter weather season to have a, a kit at home, a disaster preparedness kit. Are, are, do you see more fluctuation in, in, in the, the weather extremes. And yes, New England, wait a minute, the weather can change, but it just seems to be that pattern. So you can't really say that these few events that we've had are tied to climate change, but maybe the overall pattern of getting more frequent events, and this has to do with the orientation of the jet stream, um, more extreme events happening more frequently. That is something that in a change in climate, we could be experiencing. Any insight? Are, is, is this it going to be it for snow anyway? <laughs> for now, hey, enjoy the snow while it lasts. It still can be kind of fun as long as you're safe. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. Maureen McCann from Spectrum 13 News in Orlando. For Arlington Public News, I'm Brenda Mahoney.